A lot of activity there in Rossville. We'll continue to report that. The Chattanooga Airport has reopened the main runway after an emergency landing last night. Several flights were delayed this morning. We have team coverage of this incident. Grayson Gordon is at the Chattanooga Airport. Dallas Payton is here in the studio with us. We begin with Grayson. What can you tell us? Yeah, right now we're looking at the scene of where the plane actually ended, and there's a lot of more crews that have actually joined since the last time we talked at the top of the five. A FedEx Boeing 757 had to descend after having landing gear failure. We're planning on a gear up landing. Obviously, we'll be uh, shut down and evacuating on the runway. The pilot circled the area multiple times before landing. There, uh, another lap. The plane crash landed, skidded off the end of the runway, and coming to a stop at Jubilee Drive. Smoke was seen coming from the plane's engine, no flames. FedEx said in a statement the plane experienced an issue right after takeoff. But fortunately, the crew is safe. Two, we just need for our paperwork if we can find out if there's any known injuries. There were three souls on board. All three aboard were pilots. The airport's primary runway was closed Thursday morning. Attention all aircraft, Chattanooga Airport is now closed. Airfield is closed. And incoming flights were rerouted back to where they departed. Normal operations have resumed at the airport and we ended up talking to some people over there and they said that they did not have any delays either. Pretty live here in Chattanooga, Chris and Gordon.